welcome to City Focus. I'm Diane Gonzalez. Cultivating a diverse group of leaders to strengthen our community. That's been the mission of Leadership Lincoln since 1985. The organization is now accepting applications for its programs. And here to tell us more about these opportunities and how you can participate are Laura Uridil. She's the program coordinator for Leadership yes. Lincoln. Matt Kirkland is a graduate of Leadership Lincoln Fellows 31 program, and he's a vice president at Realty Works. Kieran Huppert is a Project All graduate. Uh, she was in class six, and she is our city wellness coordinator in the Lincoln Lancaster County Health Department. And Macy Behrens is a graduate of a graduate of Youth Leadership Lincoln 18, and she's a junior at Lincoln High. Thank you all so much for being here and uh, being willing to share your experiences with us. Um, now, Laura, I'm going to start with you. It all started with the Fellows Program yes. 31 years ago. Yes, yes. Tell us how the, about the Fellows Program. Sure. The Leadership Lincoln mission is all about civic engagement, and all of our programs kind of have a, a tri-fold goal. We want to connect people, we want to help people engage in the community, and we want to help them serve to the best of their ability. So we have a mission that's all about civic engagement. We want to help people learn about the community, understand what some of the needs are, and find ways that meet, that fit with their own personal passion, their own personal time, what they have available, where um, they are interested in serving so that all people in the community have some way that they are connected in and they know about and they are um, have some opportunity to feed back into the things that make our community great, whether that's you know serving on a PTO or uh, volunteering to host a festival or sitting on the board of directors nonprofit or, or a, a nonprofit's board of directors or you know there's all different kinds of options of ways that people can get involved and um, our overall mission is to help people to um, be prepared uh, to be effective in those roles and to go out and find those roles and connect people to those roles so that we're helping feed back into all the great things that make Lincoln great you know the, and so Le leadership Lincoln was actually created by a group of business and civic mm -hmm. leaders yes yeah there was a conversation back in the 80s about well who are going to be the next group of decision makers who are going to be the next group of people who lead um, you know bond issues and and sit on planning committees and and serve the city and so all of these different ways that um, contribute back into the things that that help us and move our community forward and you know there's there's just a million different ways to be involved and there's a million different ways because everyone has their own personal mm -hmm. passion and their own um, life circumstances and and there are ways for everyone to add their voice and for everyone to contribute so that was the goal of the folks who started the program back in the 80s and um, now uh, 31 years later we have four different programs three for adults and one for high school students and they kind of all fit, fit under the same umbrella of mm -hmm. helping people engage now Matt um, you're you just recently graduated from the fellows program yes. it's more than a training program though correct tell us tell us what all is involved in the sessions that you attend Wow well uh, in my opinion, what's neat about it is you get to do so many different things. We have a class, we get together once a month, and every time we get together it's different. Um, we've done everything from Government Day where we got to see the Governor's State of the State address, which was neat. I've never been in the chamber when that happened before, so that's a neat experience, to learning about education and touring some of the city's schools. Uh, Health and Human Services Day, we had a Health Care Day where we spent some time at Bryan Hospital. Uh, and then business day was one of the days where we toured other Lincoln businesses and we kind of break into groups and go um, go to visit some of the businesses and then come back and talk about our experiences and and uh, what we learned and it's, it's just really neat you get to learn a lot about a lot of different things and also there's a, a networking aspect as well now you're connected not just to your class but to all the other classes that came before right right well I'm in the best class ever <laughs> no I don't know <laughs> no. about that no that's, a, that's the ongoing joke in every class that, but, um, and there's also the joke about the secret handshake that's not right, true right. <laughs> how do you know <laughs> no there's a really great camaraderie within our group because we use spend so much time together and really get to know everybody and get a lot of really tight relationships. I got some people that I really consider good friends already 
uh, just these last few months that I may not have met otherwise. So mm -hmm. really neat opportunity for that too. Well, I should tell you, I was in class five, <laughs> that, which makes me dates me a bit, but we right. still keep in touch. So That's, yeah, I mean, it is an yeah. is an ongoing program. Once you're in leadership, Lincoln, you're always in leadership. Yeah, Lincoln. you can That's tell. That's true. <laughs> then the next program that came along was the youth program, and the youth program's been around for 19 years. Mm -hmm. How did that evolve out of the fellows program? Well. Uh, the chronology of Leadership Lincoln is, is we started the fellows class and started with that's our um, original program and then pretty soon after that we started the executive series which was a um, subset or a, serving a different population than the fellows class and so we were pretty happy running those two programs for adults for um, a while and in the 90s the board of directors started having conversation about are we missing something here um, are there opportunities that are not being offered? Or um, should we be should we be bringing more people to the table? Should we be expanding the the um, space for people to get engaged? And there was uh, a lot of research into other youth serving organizations to see if this was something that um, was needed, or were, was there anybody else already doing this? And uh, we decided that we needed to launch a program for high school students that was. Um, engaging them in the conversations that were happening in the city and offering them uh, a place to come to the table and be a part of those discussions. And Macy, tell us what happened uh, in your, your particular class. What are some of the experiences that you had as part of Youth Leadership Lincoln? Yeah, we also met once a month, but before we had our monthly meetings, we all kind of got to know each other. We had a little retreat and that was a really like positive bonding experience and it really set the tone for like what the year was going to be like and it gave us an opportunity to like do team building activities with other people and to get to know other people because we all go to different high schools and so it's people that I wouldn't know or get to like see but outside of um, the experiences that we had at the retreat and like the once a month so we had our retreat and that was a really like crucial important aspect of what Youth Leadership Lincoln is, I think. Um, and then we started our days and we had government day and business day and days like that. And so we, a group of sophomores, got to know about all these aspects and all these different people in Lincoln that we would have no idea how to you know, connect to them other than through this opportunity. So um, we got to meet you know, people that work in hospitals and people that work on like councils like this and so it's just given a lot of opportunities to get to know a lot about different aspects that you know some of us didn't even know these aspects existed <laughs> and so um, it's just really you know driven experience. What was your favorite favorite workshop? Um, we had one that really sticks out is the the health day for me. I'm not I was never like interested in a career or anything in health but I just remember I had gained so much knowledge that day because since I wasn't really interested in it, I had never pursued it myself, but getting like the opportunity to go there was something that I never would have done. And so getting to do that with a group of people that I had already known and I was comfortable with and, you know, with guided activities and discussions and tours, um, it was just a really like enlightening experience. Well, the baby of the Leadership Lincoln family is yes. Project All. Yes. Tell us a little bit about what <laughs> Although the... Although we are recruiting for Class 10, oh, wow. so the baby it's is gone. now double digits. <laughs> yes. How did that program come about? Yeah, Project All is, is our most recent add to the Leadership Lincoln family. And the goal of Project All is similar to helping people get engaged, but we further focus the audience into... Um, trying to recruit people who represent or advocate for underrepresented voices. So um, those kind, those populations that are are not normally present at some of the decision-making tables. So the focus was recruiting in folks who don't typically get recruited into some of these opportunities, and and broadening that pool of the community volunteers who are out there who are willing to step up and serve on the, you know, the the mayor's bicycle advisory and um, making sure that we've got other other voices represented at the tables for nonprofits and and some of those things so project all was started as a partnership it's not just a leadership Lincoln thing it was a partnership between leadership Lincoln the community health endowment and they really 
um, drove the bus on this. They said we need to help organizations be more reflective of the populations that they serve and more reflective of the broader Lincoln population. And so we want to be a part of the solution. We want to help organizations do that. So they came to the table to support the program and then we also partner with Mayor Beitler's office to um, help connect these folks mm -hmm. into the many, many, many uh, city and county boards and commissions and task forces and all of those opportunities to be a part of um, the decisions that are going on at the city. Well, Karen, tell us a little bit about your experiences. First of all, I need to explain to people who already know you that your last name has recently changed. Congratulations <laughs> on <you>. getting married. <laughs> tell us about your experiences in uh, Project All. Um, I have to echo what um, other, uh, other two people have said here too, that with the monthly sessions that we got to um, go see workshops or businesses or spend time um, with the group. We got to network. We got to learn about things in the community that even if you're from Lincoln or have lived in Lincoln the majority of um, your life, you may not even know about or be aware about, um, aware of. So that was exciting to have those opportunities. Um, I really, the experience that, or the takeaway that I have is the networking not only during um, the class sessions but then also afterwards because well during you know you, you network within um, your participants in your own class and then with the people that you meet from the agencies or businesses um, that you have um, to learn from but then afterwards uh, there's opportunities to welcome in the new participants who come in and share your experiences with them kind of give them a little one-on-one -on -one time to ask any questions or if they have any concerns or just what they might be getting into. Um, so I really enjoyed um, that part of it. And then um, the board that I sit on uh, actually has some Project All graduates on there, or alums on there. So it really is working to broaden that base to bring the voices to different tables. And, um, but then opening those doors to the incoming people to let them experience a board meeting and just have that hands-on learning time. So I don't know, that's been a personal thing that I've enjoyed the most. Well, let's tell people how they can go about applying. The application deadlines for the programs are, the youth program applications are due May 13th, and for the fellows and Project All classes, the applications are due May 27th. You'll find all the information at leadershiplincoln.org, or you can call the office at 441 Four six six one and Laura, what's involved in applying? Is it a lengthy application? Well, all of the programs are a little bit different. They all have um, a little bit of a different audience, so a little bit of a different application. But ultimately, I think what we are asking our applicants to communicate to us is why are you interested in being involved? Tell me a little bit about yourself and why you want to take a step into community leadership or why you want to explore new opportunities or what is it that's um, pulling on your heart that you feel like you need to get involved on a particular topic. I mean, that's really what we're asking of, of each of our applicants through the different applications. Um, they all have a little bit of a different question. They frame it a little bit differently, but that's what, I mean, that's what we want to help people do. So we're asking them to tell us a little bit about what, what brings them to the table. But um, with the youth program in particular, it's a little bit more of a rigorous application. The, the youth have to do some short answers, but also some um, references, and you know, mm -hmm. there's a parent permission form, of course. So each of the applications is uh, um, individualized to the particular program. And you do have some workshops to help people yes. learn how to apply. Yes. If people want to learn more, if they want to meet an alumni, or they want to talk a little bit about the logistics of the application, um, for the fellows class, the project all class, and for the youth class, uh, we do open house. Anyone can come uh, meet us, meet staff, meet alumni to help people through the application process if they have any questions. All right. Um, Matt, let's, I want to ask you if, if you came across somebody and you thought they'd make a good candidate, what would you say to them to encourage them to apply? That's really interesting. When I applied, um, it really was from talking to some friends. I wanted to get a little more connected. Um, I wanted to find some opportunities to serve. So I talked to some of my friends that are serving and just as kind of unanimous, I had three or four people say, you really need to go through Leadership Lincoln. It's such a great program. You get connected with all the people that are doing these, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they're serving on the boards and stuff. So, um, but then the application process really made me think about why I was doing this. 
You know, it wasn't just, oh, I want to kind of meet some people. You know, I really had to explain wh what I love about Link and what, uh, how I think Lincoln can improve. Um, challenged me to, uh, you know, really think about why I was going through this whole process. So it was, an, it was neat. It really made me think. Um, I remember spent quite a bit of time on the application, maybe more, you know, maybe overthinking <laughs> it some, but um, that's, that's my thoughts on it. Macy, tell me, how do you think being in youth leadership, Lincoln, how will that experience help you as you move on into college and then into a career? I think it kind of was an opportunity to be in an environment with people who were just as driven and motivated to achieve their goals as I was to achieve mine. It's kind of sometimes hard to find an environment where, you know, people are driven and like taking initiative for themselves, but I was surrounded by a group of people who were doing that. And so I think that that group that I've built and talked to still is a really positive group that helps me, you know, carry on throughout time. And it also, um, with networking and things like that, I had a lot of opportunities to meet a lot of people whose, you know, information I still have. Mm -hmm. um, and so I just think um, there was a lot of useful things and useful skills that can help me to network in the future and help me to be a leader. And Karen, tell me about the board or boards that you serve on and how Project All has helped you be a better board member. I serve on the Partnership for a Healthy Lincoln um, board and it's going through Project All has helped me to learn what questions to ask to be able to look at the financials and actually understand what incoming and outgoing funds and where all the sources are. So even if you can't make a com um, complete sense of everything that you see, you at least are equipped with tools to know what questions to ask. Um, so that's been a big help um, on the boards that I've served. Well, um, applications again are be now being accepted for three Leadership Lincoln programs. The deadline for the youth program is May 13th, and the deadline for the fellows and project all programs are May 27th. Again, there are some workshops to help people who are interested in applying. You can find a list of those at leadershiplincoln.org, or you can call the office 441-4661. I think Leadership Lincoln has uh, has really helped our community, and Laura, I'm thank you for all your hard work. Well, thank you. It's really an honor to be part of an organization that uh, does good things in our community, that, that lifts up people so that they can go forward and do things that serve their own personal passion. And it, it's, a, it's a unique place to be, and it's a, it's a real honor to be a part of the organization. Well, for an organization that's been around so long, there really have only been three yes. directors. Yes. We Started are in our 31st year, and uh, Mick Hale, who is our current executive director, is our third executive director. So Started with Jan Leeper and then Dean Finnegan and now Mick, and we yeah. wish him lots of so luck. He's been there about a year. Yeah, yep. Mick uh, joined us about a year ago, and he is a graduate of the executive series. He and his wife, Lisa, went through the executive series um, 27 and uh, are just having a lot of fun um, look, exploring new opportunities and new strategies and, and seeing where we can go. All right. Well, hopefully we'll get Mick on yes. Channel 5 one yes. of these days. Tell, <laughs> tell him I, he's invited any time. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, Laura. Thank you, Matt thank and you. Kieran and Macy. And uh, thank you for sharing your stories. And thank you for joining us for City Focus.